Howdy. This is going to be part two from a Chlorine series, and what we're going to do is we're going to approximate a definite integral utilizing a Maclaurin series. Now notice how we can't integrate this. There are no rules of integration in order to be able to figure this out. But we can utilize our known Maclaurin series in order to do that. And so if I want to take the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative x squared, i got to find out what e to the negative x squared is represented as a power series. And so we know that e to the x is x to the n over n factorial and so e to the negative x squared is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of negative x squared to the n over n factorial, which, distributing that n, that's the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n, over that n factorial. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and do our integral. So what I want to do is I want to take the integral from 0 to 1 of this power series. Remember what I talked about over and over again. I can treat this series as if it was the function because it is that function. And so this is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, um, x to the 2n over n factorial. And integrating this with respect to x, remember you add 1 to the exponent and divide. So this will be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n. Adding 1 to the exponent, that'll be x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 times n factorial. And like any definite integral, going from 0 to 1, I'm going to plug the top number into x minus plug the bottom number into x. And so plugging the top number into x, so 1 to the anything is just 1. So I'll be sum 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times 1 over 2n plus 1 times n factorial minus, then plugging in 0 is just 0. Okay, so what I need to do now is I just need to expand this series. So expanding the series of the sum 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, over 2n plus 1 times n factorial. Plugging 0 into there, negative 1 to the 0 is 1. The 0 factorial is 1, that's going to be 1, so it's just 1. Plugging 1 into there, I'm going to have a minus 1 over, and then on bottom here, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is just 3, plus, I'm plugging 2 into there because I know that negative 1 to the n is a positive 1, and then here, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then 5 times 2 factorial is 10, and when I plug 3 into there, that will be a minus 1, and then plugging 3 into here, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 times 3 factorial, 7 times 6 is 42, and you can just keep on going. And one thing that I recommend trying is expand this out a little bit more so you can get a little bit more accurate. And then into like either a Wolfram or some other integral calculator, try the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative x squared, or put it in your Inspire, or whatever, whatever technology tool you have, and you'll see that these two numbers are almost identical after just the first five or six terms. They are exact if you go to all infinite terms, which I think is really cool, but that might just be me. Join me in part three, and we'll talk about how to find the sum of these series.